album seems to be, to me, like influenced by a lot of different places. So how do yeah. all those different styles go together organically for you? Well, in Ireland, you know, when, when someone loves something, you say they're a whore for it, you know? So, uh, <laughs> so the way I would be is I'm a whore for songs. Both of the records are filled with songs that have to do with faith, and you're releasing yeah. that in a time where there isn't a lot of faith yeah. in people. So how does that make you feel? When you look around the world, principally we're all involved in this massive war which is going on, and um, a large part of that is going on is being conducted by a bunch of people who say that they are somehow on, uh, have God on their side, or that God somehow supports the use of violence as a means of sorting things out. I couldn't thank you in 10,000 years. The very proof of the non-belief in God would be the existence of war. You can't get further away from God than that. Do you know what I mean? I don't like on either side whether it's George Bush claiming he's a Christian or whether it's Osama bin Laden claiming he's a Muslim. Both are t full of shit. You know, true true Muslim or true Christian isn't a war-making person. If I cried ten thousand rivers, I wanted to know how maybe. Um, your faith has affected your celebrity? It's a very good question. Material things are temporary. You know, fame and all of those things, they don't really exist and they're not really important. We're brought up to believe that, like, you know, those are very important things. But what I learned very early was actually, you can't take any of that with you. You know, what's more important is your soul and being you. Blood. I understood quite early the idea of actually rejecting that a whole big fame and big fortune thing is not really what I want. I'm just wondering how you feel when you look back and you see film or pictures or interviews of that younger girl that you were. It's weird to me because I feel very disconnected from all of that time. Like to be honest, there's a, there's a ten year period where I can't really remember an awful lot. I do kind of feel um, detached from all of that. You know, I don't really know who that person was. It's very strange. It's like some movie that I know I saw, but I can't really remember what happened, you know? Well, maybe that means that um, you're growing. I, I just mean I'm getting old. I'm curious to hear what you think about the Britney Spears. I mean, even, even having her cut her hair and having media outlets refer to pulling a Sinead O'Connor, how does that make you feel? Generally, I feel very sorry for Britney Spears. I, I, like, I really think everyone's treating her like shit. You know, I can't understand how anyone could justify treating her the way they're treating her media-wise. The media people re literally try to destroy her life and her career, you know? So I was so happy last week when I turned on iTunes and it said Britney Spears is number one. I was like, yeah, that's the best f revenge. 